Hi guys! Chrissy from Snacking in Sneakers here today with a sponsored Facebook Live on behalf of uh, the Northeast Beef Promotion Initiative. Today I am going to be chatting with you a little bit about beef nutrition and then we're going to make a super easy uh, Cuban shredded beef. And I'm going to show you this is like one of the easiest recipes you could possibly make. All you have to do is throw some stuff in the crock pot and then you just let it sit all day and you come home and it's super delicious. Um, so anyway, so a couple of things that I wanted to highlight. Specifically, I know I have a lot of active women that are out there watching. We've got things like um, protein. So a three ounce serving of lean beef has about 25 grams of protein, which is amazing. It's also got about 36% of the daily value for zinc. And if you're familiar with zinc, it's one of the nutrients that helps our immune system. I know that none of you like to be sick while training. That's like everybody's worst fear. So zinc is really great for helping to keep up your immune system. It's also got that three ounce serving also has about 12% of the daily value for iron. Um, and especially for the lady athletes out here, um, you know, our little monthly ant flow, uh, we lose some iron that way. And so making sure that we're getting enough iron in our diet is really important. And especially for active women, because iron is involved in your, uh, in a healthy blood stream and it helps with carrying that oxygen to your muscles. And so if you're falling short on iron, you can risk becoming anemic. And then that can lead to things like feeling really fatigued and not performing as well. So Lots of good reasons to incorporate that lean beef into your diet. Now there's two other reasons. The National Nutrition Month theme this year is go further with food. And so there's two other reasons that I think that beef can totally be part of your balanced diet. And that's variety and sticking with your budget. So when I think of variety in my diet, I like to have lots of different kinds of meals, right? I like to have um, animal protein based meals. I like to have plant protein based meals. And whatever you like to do, that's totally your prerogative, but that's just, you know, my thing. Um, and so with beef, you can get tons of different types of cuts, right? You can get your flank steak, and you can get your chuck roast, and you can get your lean ground beef, and there's a lot of things that you can do with that. You can also get a lot of things that help your budget. And there's inexpensive cuts, like the one we're going to talk about today. So I have some chuck roast with me today. Um, but there's also, you know, if you go to the grocery store and you look at the the kind of markdown meat section, those are things that are still good to use. They're just trying to get them out of the store before they go bad. And so that's one of my favorite ways of like reverse meal planning is going and looking at what's on sale, grabbing um, some things that are marked down, and then trying to come up with something creative to make with it and get that variety. So like I said, we're going to work with this chuck roast today. We've got a, about a two and a half pound chuck roast here. And we're going to make Cuban shredded beef. So this is also known as ropa vieja. Um, I am not Cuban, so please forgive me if I am butchering that at all. Um, but essentially, you know, it means, uh, the, the literal translation is like um, old clothes. Not because it smells like old clothes or anything, I promise it smells really good when it's cooking, but because it is, um, it looks kind of like tattered clothes, like sh the shredded beef looks like tattered rags. And so that's where the name came from. But I promise it's super good, smells really good and everything. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to make this dish and I am gonna do everything here. I didn't cut up anything ahead of time because I just want you to see seriously how quick and easy this is to throw together. All right, so I've got a bell pepper and an onion here and I'm just gonna slice them up for us. And depending on the size of your chuck roast, um, you know, I called for one bell pepper, one sliced bell pepper, one sliced onion in here. But if you're using a bigger chuck roast or if you just want like a heavier proportion of vegetables in the dish, you can totally add a couple more in there. Um, you know, if you want to do two or even three, um, it'll all come out great. It's just going to be a higher proportion uh, of veggies in the dish. So if you're using a bigger chuck roast, then you can throw a few more in there. I've got my trusty crock pot here, right? For all of you This Is Us fans, do not worry about the whole crock pot drama. I promise the crock pots are they're safety tested and everything. So um, I've got my trusty crock pot here. It is turned on to low. And we're gonna throw our onions in. And then we're gonna 
slice our bell pepper and add that in there as well. And feel free if you're on here live and you have any questions about um, beef nutrition or about what I'm making, if you're joining a little late, um, don't hesitate to ask. I'm monitoring the comments here as I am uh, chopping our stuff up. So we've got our red bell peppers. I like using red in this recipe. They're a little bit sweeter than the green ones, so I find that it works well. I should have sharpened my knives before I came on here. Goodness, that's a good tip for you guys. If you haven't sharpened your knives in a while, take out uh, your knife sharpener and do that so that they work a little bit better. I grabbed one that wasn't very good here. So I've got my red peppers going in here. All right. Awesome. So next thing I'm going to put in is the chuck roast. So again, this one's about two and a half pounds to give you an idea of, you know, how big it is here. Um, but you can use anything, you know, two pounds, three pounds, kind of within that range there. Just going to wash my hands off real quick. I didn't realize when I stepped all the way back here that you guys would be able to see my sweatpants on here. I feel like I dress as like the um, mullet of work dress. So, you know, like mullet, like business in the front, party in the back. I feel like that's how I am from the waist up. And then on the ground, I'm always in like sweatpants and slippers here. So I am the mullet of work dress. Um, anyway, we're going to keep going with our Cuban beef here. So I'm going to throw some garlic in there next. I'm going to put you know, about two teaspoons of minced garlic. Um, you can use fresh. I tend to keep this stuff in the fridge just because it's super convenient when you need to be on the run in the morning and you're going really quick. So we've got our garlic. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We're going to add in a tablespoon of cumin. A tablespoon sounds like a lot, but you're cooking a, a lot of meat. This recipe makes about eight to 10 servings, so I like to you know, try to get as much spice in there as I can. Um, about a teaspoon of salt. And then we've got our canned stuff here. So we're going to do a can of diced tomatoes. And you don't have to drain this or anything. You can just throw this right in here. One of the cool things about um, canned cooked tomatoes like this is they actually have a lot of lycopene in them, um, which is like a phytochemical that's good for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to use some canned tomato sauce. So I've got just a little eight ounce can here. If you can find no added salt versions, that's best. If you can't find the no added salt, then just cut down on the amount of um, salt that you add when you do your spices in there. I'm gonna put about half of a can of tomato paste. You don't have to be super specific with this recipe. It's really forgiving, so like if you you know, mess up by a tablespoon or something, no big deal. So again, about half of this can. And then I'm just gonna add a can of green chilies here. Now, for those of you that have kids, this, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm reading the comment from uh, Northeast Loves Beef right now about the mullet of work dress. Um, I'm gonna add this can of green chilies here. If you have kids, don't worry, it's not a spicy recipe. Um, the one can over you know the eight to 10 servings here, it's not super spicy. But um, if you like spicy food, then feel free to do a little bit of extra um, of the green chilies. You can add a couple of cans, or you can add in other spices like cayenne or some crushed red pepper if you like um, a really spicy dish. So I'm going to add that in there. All right. And so what we've got here, I'll pop it out of the crock pot for a second. You can see it's a pretty full crock pot of food here, which is awesome because it makes a ton. Um, I'm just going to kind of mush everything around in here. Pop my top on. 
Um, and that's it. That's all it takes. I'm looking at my timer here, you know, 10 minutes since I started this. So literally less than 10 minutes of prep time to get everything into your crock pot here. And then you turn it on low and you just let it sit all day. So seven to nine hours. But again, this recipe is really forgiving. So if you're at work, you know, and you're not going to be home for 10 hours, that's okay. It comes out fine. Um, once it's done at the end of the day, you just shred the meat with two forks, let it sit in there for about 15 minutes to help kind of absorb the, um, the tomato products. And then what you end up with, I feel like a TV chef. Ta-da! Um, is this delicious bowl of shredded meat here. And you can use it in a ton of different ways. So um, you can see it's like, Super delicious. Um, you can use it over rice and beans. The most traditional way that I tend to use it is with um, some brown rice with black beans, and then I'll put some plantains in there as well. You can also use it in a stew. You can use it um, as like taco meat or in a burrito bowl. One of my favorite ways to use it is nachos. I know dietitians eat nachos too, so you can do a with this um, recipe and then what I recommend doing you're gonna end up with eight to ten servings here so if you don't have eight to ten people to feed at one time um, you know take about half of that or three quarters of it and put it in a big uh, Ziploc bag for the freezer or in a big Tupperware for the freezer and then you can pull it out whenever you need something quick and easy for dinner um, so the last time we made this we you know ate about a third of it and then we froze two more portions of it that we were able to pull out for dinner later. So super easy meal to make, right? Ho I hope that you see just how simple this is. Nutritious, you can serve it in a lot of different ways for you and your family. And for my active folks out there, you know, after a long run, this beef with some rice and beans and plantains, that is a bomb recovery meal. It is super delicious. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, if you end up watching the replay later, don't hesitate to comment if you have any questions and the link for the recipe is up um, in the description. And thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you soon. <laughs>